What's up guys? Wanted to talk about my latest obsession right now and it is surf fishing. Um, wanted to make a video on the Team Daiwa surf rod as you see right before you. Um, mainly because I didn't see that many uh, videos or photos covering this rod. So I thought I'd do YouTube some justice and maybe put up a video. There's my little belt set up with some lures I have out. I might have time later on to talk about it. But um, yeah, you know, as a person who's been looking at getting my own setup, um, I've looked online extensively. Um, I'm the type of person that likes to, you know, look at all the different brands and specs of, um, you know, whatever product I'm looking at. And, you know, this one really caught my eye. Has the HVF Nano Plus technology and they also do the x45 carbon weave um, i believe it helps make this rod a lot lighter than its competitors it doesn't have the the butt cap at the bottom which i actually do prefer because when i am on the sandy beaches i do like to um, stake it into the ground and i can like tie up my jigs or tie up my my leader lines but <clears throat> Yeah, I'm just gonna go over some stuff I wrote down and briefly talk about this rod. So this rod is, I got the nine foot rod. Uh, it's a medium power, fast action. I believe all the rods on the team, on the Team Daiwa Surfline, they're all fast action rods. Um, when you're casting this thing, it just shoots like a, a missile, man. Like two to three ounce lures. I've never, I haven't casted a four ounce lure with this thing, but dude, it just shoots like a rocket. You really don't even have to try that hard to be able to cast out far. Um, even with a nine foot rod, dude, this thing is outcasting my buddy's 10 foot rod, 11 foot rod. Um, I'll get into the reason why I got into a nine foot rod. Um, well, I went to my local tackle shop just to look around and see because I was looking at getting a setup and I thought I'd swing by as I'm getting into this sport. And lo and behold, they have, you know, this rod. And um, I couldn't believe it. Out of all the rods that I thought this shop might have had, they had the specific rod I was like really into. I think I'm really into it just because like the gray and then the red highlights just really drew, drew my attention. But, um, you know, I got, to, I got to check out the action, felt it. It's always nice when you can feel something in hand, but I was able to get a, get a feel for it. I can't do it in, in here, but, uh, you know, kind of whip it. And not only was it the rod I was looking at, but it was $20 off from my own tackle shop. So I was able to support my own tackle shop and I got this reel with it. This is the Pen Pursuit 4. There's a reason why I specifically got this reel, and I'll probably save that for another video. Yes, it's on the cheaper side. Um, everyone, well, I've been looking at getting a van stall, but, um, you know, I wanted to see what I could get away with by starting off with like a cheaper reel. So that's for another video. Back to the rod. So this has the Fuji Fast Light rings on the k-series guides um uh, i kind of i don't know if you'll notice it but it has kind of like a dark blue hue to it it really matches nicely with this kind of blue gray um, everyone will say that alkanite raw uh, rings are better than these but um you know for for the money you know and for what you're actually getting, this is this is gonna get the job done. And they're braid resist, they're braid, they work well with a braid. So, um, I I mean I wouldn't know the difference, but you know these are still some really nice uh, guides. And one thing I did notice online is that I did not see um, any weight specs on these series of rods. So I weighed it with my own scale and it came to about 225 grams, which is around 7.9 to eight ounces. So that makes it really, really light compared to the other rods in its competition, such as like maybe like the Penn Battalion or the Shimano Speedmaster. But um, 
It also has the Fuji, Fuji real seat. I can easily take this off. I have sand in here because I just went, I went skishing with this already. Let's see, pull this out. Fuji, 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 Daiwa. Yeah, it's a re it, this thing is sharp, man. This this whole rod is nice, man. Um, I was looking at getting a 12 foot heavy rod before because I did want to cast out some big weights and baits, but um, after watching so many videos on YouTube about like Montauk and Surfcasters Journal, I got really interested in doing lures and, and such. I just got my first catch uh, a couple of days ago. It was like a five, five and a half pound halibut. Um, but yeah, let's see what else I want to talk about. This, uh, I mean, just for the money, it is kind of in between prices between like getting expensive and like just getting out of boundaries of like a, a cheaper rod. But man, for me, the it was well worth the money. It's such a great handling rod. It feels good. It looks it looks good and feels good for me. That it meets both criteria of first and second cool. It just really caught my eye. It feels like a really solid rod, and I feel cool using this rod. If you know what I mean. Like you ever get something and you just feel it. It makes me feel happy. So I would totally recommend it. Yeah, if you guys have any questions, comment down below. 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, I mean, just to kind of brush up on the, 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 the lure rating, it is recommended for one to four ounces. I have used the three quarter ounce and I'm able to, I feel like I'm able to work the, the jig just fine. And I do get a lot of distance out of casting with this rod. Um, I haven't had the need to use anything bigger than a three ounce lure, but at two to three ounce lures just shoot like a missile. Um, what else do I have here? Oh yeah, that's another thing. Um, after purchasing it, and I put it, I was bringing it to the car. I was instantly worried about like, how am I gonna put this in the car? Um, I don't want, I didn't want to have to put it in the back seat out the window cause it doesn't fit properly, but it did fit properly in the trunk. Um, I don't think I would have been able to get away with a 10 foot. So I'm actually super stoked I got the nine foot. Um, I could have gotten for an 11 foot, but after talking to so many anglers and other people about their setups and I just thought that the nine foot was right for me. I do like to swim out in the ocean or just beyond where the waves break and I like to cast out there and this is great on jetties. This thing is like super maneuverable being nine feet and like I said man this thing just casts like a missile. So if you guys are interested in getting one of these I would say do it because they are really sweet rods. I'll do one more pan and I'll end the video. It has seven guides. Yeah, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.